Welcome back. Today we're making this really cute parrot wall hanging. On a six inch wooden dowel, we're gonna attach all 11 cords using the lark's head knot. To make a lark's head knot, fold your cord in half, then place the loop end behind your wooden dowel, then take the long tail ends and place it through the loop and pull taut. For this project, we're gonna be using yarn to create our vertical double half hitch knots, and we're gonna need several different colors. This is a perfect project to use up all those little bits and ends of all your yarn. On our grid pattern here, each square represents a vertical double half hitch knot, and we're gonna start from the left and work our way all the way towards the right. Our first row is white, so we're gonna start with a long strand of white yarn. Place the short tail end on your left and the long tail on the right. Then form a loop on your right, wrap your long tail end around and through the loop. This is only half of your vertical double half hitch knot. To form the other half, all we have to do is repeat the same process. Make a loop on your right, wrap your tail end around and through the loop. And just as a side note here, I'm working with 60 inches of yarn at one time. Slide your knot all the way up to the top and we're gonna carry on working from left to right. Because the first knot always looks a little different, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the second one. So make sure your yarn is behind the next strand of cord. Make a loop on your right, wrap your tail in around and through and repeat one more time. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Now that we completed our first row, we're gonna go ahead with the second and we need to go back in the opposite direction. Working with the same strand of yarn that we worked in the previous row, we're gonna take it and we're gonna bring it behind our cord. And this time we're gonna make a loop on our left, wrap our tail end around and through the loop. So essentially it's the exact same thing as the first row, only backwards. If you ever get confused or lost, just remember that your yarn and your loop will always be on the same side of the direction that you're going. So jumping ahead, as you can see, I completed the first two and a half rows. And now we need to switch colors. To switch colors, all you have to do is grab another strand of yarn and we're gonna attach it just the same as we did at the very start of this project. And if you ever run out of length of yarn, this is the same way that we're gonna attach a new piece. Growing up in the 90s, my auntie actually had a couple of parrots. Did you know that they can live for over 100 years? I had no idea. Anyways, carrying on, we need to switch back to the white. So to do this, all you have to do is lift up all your filler cords here, take your previous white strand of yarn, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it behind our work. So as you run it behind, make sure that when you place your filler cords back down, that it's all flat and even, and do not pull your yarn too taut, otherwise your work will pucker. Place your yarn over top of your red, and then carry on tying your vertical double half hitch knots just the same as before. So I'm gonna go ahead and work our way down our grid pattern, and each row we complete, I'm going to highlight it so that we don't forget our place. Once we've gotten all the way down to the bottom of our pattern, we're gonna flip over our work and clean up the back. Grab any two strands of yarn that are close together and tie a double overhand knot. Then just snip off the excess yarn. While we have our scissors out, let's flip it back over and trim the bottom. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do me a favor and hit that like button. That really helps me out and also it helps me determine which videos you guys like the most so that I can create more just like it. If you're interested in how to professionally finish off the back of your wall hanging, click the video on the screen now and it'll show you how to do just that plus how to sign your work. And I'll see you over there.